Welcome to this special episode of Frequency Matters, the RF and Microwave Update Series. I'm Pat Hindle, and I'm here with Michael Reeser, Business Development Director, Automotive and Energy Solutions Business Unit at Keysight Technologies. Welcome, Michael. Hey, Pat. How are you doing? So Keysight has just released a very unique automotive radar scene emulator. Can you tell us a little bit about the system and what makes it different from the current solutions on the market? Yeah, thanks for the question. I think this is really a cool thing because I think what we have tried to change is going away from looking at, you know, singular objects or which we can identify for testing purposes on a, on a radar test to really emulate a full scene, having basically like a rendered picture, um, which we can provide to a radar uh, sensor on a test. So we can provide a complete scene uh, to a radar environment and then basically see basically all the objects moving around independent whether there is uh, five cars, 10 cars, whether five pedestrians or 20 pedestrians, whether you're on the highway or you're basically in inner city traffic, we have the capability built to not only be able to identify them, but also to uh, really kind of uh, understand basically, you know, what our objects are, have basically the capabilities, along with the improved perspective on what the objects are really behind and, 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 and all the bandwidth capabilities to really understand, you know, what is it in front of us? Do we have to basically, a, a, an environment where we have to break or where we can just keep on going autonomously down the road? And those kind of things are obviously key for, we're looking forward, you know, with this new radar scene emulator basically going forward. So Keysight designed a new RF front end module uh, and to form this 512 element array that gives you a full screen. Can you tell us about that design and how the elements fit together in this array? Well, obviously, you know, what I think the greatest accomplishment is basically that we moved something which had a size of a rack before to uh, very, very much miniaturized, basically, uh, um, array element, you know, about the size of a finger. And so this gives us the opportunity to have singular control over those 512 object points, which we can control. And in the way we basically uh, um, have orchestrated them in that field of view, we have created really kind of the, an, an array where basically we have now an opportunity to look at 512 different objects, um, you know, in a plus minus 70 degree field of view. The RSE provides full scene emulation of up to 512 objects at distances as close as one and a half meters from the vehicle. Delivering this revolutionary radar scene emulator required two key breakthroughs. First, Keysight developed a proprietary miniature radar target simulator, each with its own antenna. Second, we integrated eight of those mini radar target simulators onto one circuit board and arranged 64 boards in a semicircular array. The result? 512 individually controllable high precision objects that form a virtual wide screen for rendering real world driving scenes all integrated into a benchtop anechoic chamber. Just based the pure, the pure um, physical um, structure we have created based on that, the dimensions around allow us basically both horizontally and vertically follow objects. And by doing that, that's basically how we can then also analyze the full scenes where all aim to basically analyze and understand and, and basic, based on that also determine what's really in front of us. Well, it's really an impressive design to fit that many elements in a small area. So it looks like Keysight is changing the paradigm from individual targets to a scene for automotive radar. Uh, why is this important and what improvements does it enable? Well, I think, and, and we can really clearly understand that, you know, when we see the complexity of driving, you know, uh, human brains have developed so well to deal with, you know, um, you know, adverse situation, but also subtle uh, uh, issues. And, 
you know, if you pick just few objects, you always find yourself in a situation that you have to pick and choose what is basically now close to you, what is important, what's not important. You can't basically really determine, you know, if there is something, you know, a few hundred feet further down the road, which develops into a, into a safety conversation, you know, soon thereafter and, and into a safety hazard. And so from that perspective, to have the full scene gives you access to all objects in front of you, gives you access to um, perspective of understanding, you know, every participant on your journey going forward, you know, in respect to velocity, you know, where it is going, you know, whether it's basically be, uh, developing into a uh, danger or not. And, you know, if you would just have, uh, you know, run around with limited number of objects, you would see there would always be this moment where out of a sudden you don't have something in view, which the next moment turns into a danger. And to avoid something like that, you know, the full scene gives you similar what you would like to see on a, on a screen, basically a complete visualization of what's in front of you. Everyone will clearly understand if you look at a screen, you don't like it to have three quarters of the pixel being blacked out either, because what you then see is not everything and you feel very quickly, very uncomfortable to make a decision based upon just looking at a few pixels. And that's the pretty much the similarity or the um, you know the, the respective compare you know you can very easily draw. And so, how does this system fit into if you're evaluating a full sensor suite? Um, how would you be able to test the radar sensors with other ones? Yeah. So, in general, when we when we basically want to test um, you know the autonomous sensor infrastructure in a car. You know, radar is one of them. We look at LIDAR, we look at cameras. And the ideal world is obviously that with the other sensor types, we can basically bring in a wealth of information to a decision-making unit. And ideally, you know, we have behind a hardware in the loop environment and also simulation software, which will then drive in a real-time environment, uh, a closed loop environment for uh, testing all the data coming from the sensors, reacting to it. And I think really what we, um, what we are aiming is to provide time synchronous information of say the same event to all sensors. That's a fundamental uh, capability and idea of this infrastructure. And then obviously you realize based on environmental um, aspects, you know, like rain or fog, you know, one sensor is capable of providing better data than the other, but what you really want to get is the full wealth of data so you can determine in your AI what's basically the best decision from a safety perspective on your autonomous vehicle. Those kind of elements are mission critical and those are absolutely necessary for engineers working on those kind of areas to really understand what's happening, what's happening when, and what kind of data you can rely on ideally best when you're heading down the road in an autonomous vehicle and you get far more data probably while driving than you can handle, but you have to pick the right ones out and you'll be able to, calibrate, to correlate the right information so you basically are doing the right decisions. And that's how we basically try to see in this whole test suite to create a closed loop system, uh, you know, together with a hardware in a loop environment for the lab testing. So stepping back, uh, what improvements do you see coming in the near future in the area of radar sensors and testing? Well, obviously, you know, radar modules, you know, we go from 3D to 4D uh, modules and, and capabilities and People like to see, you know, not only quantitative, but qualitative information, you know, how good is basically the information you're getting. Can you determine based on a profile, also an object and through AI understand what it is. So a bicyclist, you know, can you understand that what the object in front of you is a bicyclist instead of something is in front of you? That's obviously an information which I think we will all 
um, can expect to see that there will be more resolution, more data uh, with more quality coming down the road. But then also from a sensor, from a testing perspective, it's really kind of this information which you can get from the different sensors to correlate them, to, you know, have metadata from environmental, like again, you know, rain or fog or all the other things. You can start weighing what's more robust in a condition, you know, you're in right now. Obviously, between day and night, that's a simple thing to observe basically, you know, that a camera today at least still more limitations in dark than it during the day and, and radar so far looks being the most robust one. But again, their capabilities uh, still coming online and adding to the capabilities, you know, going into a car and obviously with more radar sensors around the car, you can get a pretty good abstraction of what is around you. And so you can really start to not only understand what's happening and take this data in, but also start doing certain predictions in terms of, you know, speed management, you know, lane changing and other things. And, and those are all capabilities. I think we all uh, can still, you know, foresee that they will come down further down the road. Radar is an interesting area. You know, it's it looks like old technology compared to many other things we see in the new cars. Still, I think it's uh, there's a lot of good stuff happening, and 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 we will see this continue. Well, thank you, Michael, for taking the time to talk about Keysight's new automotive scene emulator. That's kind of changing the paradigm for testing and automotive radar sensors. Thanks everybody for watching and see you next time on Frequency Matters.